Well, another story we're tracking tonight, the state is severing its ties with Quest Diagnostics after it failed to report 75,000 COVID test results dating back to April. Quest is now dumping that data in today's numbers, which skews the state's positivity rate at an important time of reopening. Now, this is why the governor is so upset. Take a look at these numbers. The positivity rate without Quest data is 5.9%, and with Quest data, it jumps to 6.8%. And when it comes to cases, the state says without the Quest numbers of new cases, it's at around 3,773, but with the Quest numbers, it's more than 7,000. CBS 12's Al Pefley has local reaction to this and joins us in downtown West Palm Beach. Quest Diagnostics has provided test results to people in a timely manner, but the governor says they turned in tens of thousands of COVID-19 test results to the state late, and that, he says, is a huge problem. I know that the Quest um, had a large number of labs that were not turned in on time, and that um, is very disruptive to our whole operation. The state says Quest Diagnostics failed to report nearly 75,000 COVID-19 test results in Florida, some of them dating back to April. For them to have made a big error like this is surprising. It's a failure on a massive scale that has led the governor to sever all ties with the lab company. Well, I'm glad he's done it. I think the um, company did a disservice to the state by not being as accurate as possible in their in reporting results to us. According to the state, Quest says in all those late test results, they've notified anyone who tested positive. But some say to dump 75,000 test results on the state, some that are months old, will mean a lot more work for health officials. It makes the work of our departments much harder because we have to separate all those out, di divide them by the days that they come in, so and then adjust all those days. So it's just a lot of unnecessary work. It's not fair to, to everybody working in this. The sheer volume of the test results that were not reported to the state is staggering. It affects decisions that we make here at the county, at the state level, in other counties. And this is important. It's about people's lives and livelihoods, and we should have accurate data. How did something like this happen involving a large nationwide lab? In a written statement, Quest says, quote, due to a technical issue, our reporting of a subset of public health COVID-19 test data to the Florida Department of Health was delayed. We apologize for this matter and regret the challenge it poses for public health authorities in Florida. The issue has since been resolved. Quest says it has a test capacity of 200,000 tests per day, and its average turnaround time is no more than two days. So these labs have to get more efficient in how they do the work and turn the information in. So this really puts, a, especially at a time like this with the pandemic going on, those are critical numbers. The governor released a written statement saying, quote, to drop this much unusable and stale data is irresponsible. I believe that Quest has abdicated their ability to perform a testing function in Florida that the people can be confident in. There's no word yet on what testing lab the state will use to replace Quest. In West Palm Beach, Al Pefley, CBS 12 News.